What are you doing on Omegle? I don't know. What are you doing? Hmm. We're all just making sure all the girls are eating their vegetables. Mm-hmm. Do you like vegetables? I'm actually unvegan. Oh, what, what do you mean? So I only I eat, talk. I eat frogs. Oh, damn. Perfect. Say hello to my I little frog. friend! Have a bit of both, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> baby in house. Why you come out here without my baby? Don't you got a girlfriend? Why don't y'all go make a baby? Why what that got to do with my baby? Because um, I, I got a girlfriend. What that got to do with my baby? I don't want her around my kid. But if you got a boyfriend, it's, it's cool. So you Why can bring a boy. Why are you worried about me? What the f so you can bring a boy, a boy, but I can't bring no girl around. No. So I'm paying fifteen hundred in child support and I can't see my baby. No. See? See, see what? See? Why the fuck is you recording me? See, see? what? See what? Don't have kids. Y'all don't have kids. You weird. Don't have kids. Man, fifteen fifteen hundred in child support. Man, you weird. Fifteen hundred in child support. I can't see stuff. my baby. No. Fifteen hundred. In the house. You can see the baby, but that's not her. So where's she at? In the house. So go get her. No. You can go see her. I'm not gonna go get nobody. It's cold out here. Fifteen hundred in child support. Mm -hmm. Talking about, I got a girlfriend. I can't see my baby because I got a girlfriend. No, but you got a boyfriend. You but okay, you got a boyfriend. So what? Don't have kids, bro. No, you don't have kids. Y'all don't have kids. You don't have kids. Y'all don't. Y'all don't want nobody like her. Don't have kids. So the correct advice should be don't have kids with the wrong people. As you guys can see, it could pretty much ruin your entire life. People got to be way more picky with who they hook up with and stop chasing their desires because their future could literally look like this. This sounds like a living hell to me and the best bet he has is just showing this to the court because her reasoning doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah, let me put a whole camera in the middle of the gym, wear the tightest clothes possible, do the workouts that cause the most attention, and then record myself acting like the victim. <laughs> this is absolutely embarrassing. What is the worst problem that you have in the most of each? The high prices? Bad comedians. <laughs> Since the guy does himself? <laughs> He's like, I wasn't good at anything else, so I just decided to start selling stuff. <laughs> I think this might be the first time ever the heckler is actually funnier than the comedian. And I have absolutely loved you. I've introduced you to my son. And I wanted to spend the rest of my life. However, last night, Chris told me about everything. You're a cheat. Bye. Now, would you guys actually believe that some of the comments on this video were actually bashing this guy for doing that, saying he shouldn't have done this in front of everyone? Well, that may be somewhat kind of true. In my opinion, she deserves to get completely embarrassed for what she did. Deeper? Like, should we go deep? When's the last time you cried? Yeah. <laughs> You're trying to cry now? No, I lost my best friend this year, so it's still been a hard thing for me. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Like, you made me think about it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can we give him a hug? Wait, yeah. is that allowed? Can we get, give him a group hug? Oh my gosh. <laughs> group I'm hug? I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh. I feel so bad. Get so the bad. tissues. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. It's hard. I'm not going to joke. That was my brother. Damn, whose question was that? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And then like mildly uncomfortable which is nothing against him <sighs> yeah fifth we have west at seven points this pretty much proves that women just hate men who just show too much emotion. Either when it comes to venting or just breaking down shitting a tear over something tragic that happened, it can make you literally look ugly. This guy's not even ugly. This guy's pretty damn good looking compared to the rest of the guys up there. And I find it absolutely insane how some women can find this unattractive. Don't you remember in science class, he was hella flirting with me. That was just me working with you. Like, that wasn't flirting. That was just, you know, your third friend. No, I was I, flirting. It could never be that. I know you're trying to link with me. I, know, I'm I see how you be looking at me. What's up? Like what? Looking at you like what? Look, when Larry finds about this, she's gonna whoop yo. You know I'm better than her, and I know you're trying to f with me. Hi. 
Bro, let's just link up. Stop. That's enough. Who's, is that, is that lyric? Now you can pretty much tell that this girl liked her man the entire time and decided to use this opportunity to see if he had the same feelings back. There's just some people in your friend group that just don't deserve to be in your relationship because you just can't trust them. Just to be clear, what are you? Prime. You're prime? Top notch. What makes you time, prime, top notch, who tank? <sighs> don't worry, I'll wait. I mean, I have everything that you could possibly ask for as far as brains, beauty, ambition. I would build my man up to be everything he wants to be in this world. I'm, I'm the best investment he would ever make in his life. Now let me just pause the video right there and show you guys a clip she actually said from a different podcast. You approached me on a sugar daddy <laughs> website and asked me to be your sugar baby and then Never couldn't did. afford my allowance. Never did. He couldn't afford my $10,000 allowance a month. $10,000 allowance and she thinks she's actually one of the best girls out there. But let's go on with the video because it's not over yet. And my shit's exclusive. I've invested in my body. I have a $150,000 body. No one barely touches me. Yes, you can see me on Instagram because I'm paid to do that, but nobody touches me unless a man, yes, does take care of me. I like bosses. I like millionaires. I like someone who's going to mentor me, teach me, and invest in me and get me to my highest level as well. So in the first part, she literally said she wants a man that she can literally build up. However, then demands a man that gives her $10,000 a month and then also said that she needs a millionaire. If that doesn't make it any worse, look at the bottom modification she did to herself and just tell me if you guys find this attractive. Uh, four BBLs, two breast augment, technically five BBLs, but it's we're gonna cyborg. go with four. Uh, two breast augmentations, obviously Botox, Botox, lip, lip injections, and then I had the fat buckle removed out of my cheeks on my face. Wow. And how young are you? 28. Damn. So I guess more of the story is this girl is not happy with herself and her body. And I guess she wants a man to actually cuff her up and turn that into a wife. It doesn't make sense. Why would anybody want to have kids with that? You're pretty much showing your kids you were never good enough and you had to change your body in order to be good enough. Winks at you at the bar while your wife is in the bathroom. What do you do? <laughs> he took his hand off the table. <laughs> No. This guy had two options, and I guess he just chose peace over the money. I that your relationship wasn't going to work out. When I walked in and saw her stopping in the car, uh, we shared our location each other. Then when you checked her location, did it say uh, she is currently at a place sucking d You knew? Yeah. No, no, no. She was at the place. That's like... So you went there. You saw her, you know, getting down on dude. Was she going crazy or not nah, playing? But, uh, <laughs> wait, so what happened <laughs> after? I, I called her out. She came outside. I didn't let her say spit on her face. And I left. Damn. So you was the only person that didn't get spit on because she was... <laughs> At the end of the day, it's definitely nice to know that he can laugh about this. But ouch, this guy did have a point. He was literally the only one that didn't. Your entire staff has been okay. calling me sir. What are you? Why does it you? matter? Oh, it doesn't matter to you. But to me, I'm a male. Okay. So what are you? So I can call you a sir or ma'am. What are you? What would you assume looking at me? I assume that you're a man. I can't blame this guy at all for what he's doing. He's just trying to do his job and this woman's trying to make it super complicated for him. You can believe in any delusion you want to believe in, but shoving it down people's throats and expecting them to do the exact same thing doesn't make any sense to me. Keep your delusion to yourself, please. 21, I went to a club with my girlfriend at the time and I don't like those environments. I told her I didn't want to go, but it was her birthday and her older sister was like, we going, I got her, you know what I'm saying? We all gonna go together. It was me, her sister, um, her male cousin. I did not want to be there, didn't like the environment. She got drunk, it was her birthday. She got a little too drunk. And when she was coming back from the bathroom, she bumped into a guy accidentally. He goes, watch where you're going, bitch, like that. So what do you think I have to do now? So now I got to step in. So now there's a conflict in the club that I have to defend that I shouldn't have to because I didn't want to go to begin with, but I tried to be understanding. And that's what Brian means by risk averse too. It's, it's a risky environment. Now, I've told you guys multiple times on this channel that going to the club in general is probably the dumbest thing to do, but going to the club while you're with someone and already dating someone is even stupider. The club is for single people, so leave it for single people. But there's definitely going to be guys out there in the club that don't care about her being with someone and will still try to push it and still try to flirt with her and she's definitely gonna want you to do something about it so in my opinion just leave that environment completely hey 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 <laughs> one thing before we go um do you put out on the first date no okay no problem um so are we splitting the bill for today 
Absolutely not. Perfect. That's all I need to know. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more content like this, please click the videos you guys see at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.